Hey, uh, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own Ventrilo server so you can actually use uh, up to eight slots on this Ventrilo server. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is come to the actual Ventrilo home page, which is www.ventrilo.com, then come to the download section. And you need to be downloading if you've got a Windows operating system, depending on its 32-bit or 64-bit or whatever. You download the actual client, okay? And you also need to download the server. Now this will hold up to eight people, this server, for free. Okay, so download those two, the server and the client. Just agree. Just save that to your desktop and do your uh, server. Same thing. And then uh, once you've downloaded those, we're going to install them. So you just install them. I'm not going to go through the installation process, it's pretty straightforward, really. Just install it. Now once we've got it installed, the first thing we want to do is go into the programs and go up to vent serve. So it's vent SRV. Go in there and top, and then you'll see edit any file. That's the one you want to do. Now by default, this is not Brightech obviously, but mine's called now Brightech. And this is Brightech. Password, you can call whatever you like, okay? So I'm just going to use that for now. I'm not going to use that at all, but I'm just going to show you how to set it up. And then password, you just call that whatever you like. So if you just put pass in there, that will be the password that people need to hook up. So for instance, if you've got friends that want to look hook up to play games online or whatever, they would have to put this pass in. Okay, This is your administration password. That's so you can actually kick and ban people or do whatever you like, okay? These settings, I've just made a few different settings here. Voice uh, codec is free and uh, voice format is 32. That's so uh, we can use the uh, Mac as well. Mac people can use it. Okay, and that's about it. That's all you need to change in there. You don't really need to do this part if you don't want to, but obviously if you want to, that's the figures you need and what that's going to do. It's going to change this part here. It's basically making it these settings here. Okay. So once you get inside the Ventrilo, you'll need to, if you want to push a key to actually talk, you can just actually make a hot key here. Okay. Get any problems with the voice? Make sure you've got your sound card selected. Okay. Like so. All right, and that's about it, really. If you're getting a little bit quiet when you're talking, just put um, more output, okay? Just up the output, like so, if you're a bit quiet. If someone says, I can't hear you, turn the output up. Inbound, if you want it louder than your ear holes, then turn it up. Simple as that, really. Now, once you've done that, the first thing you need to do is set up your Ventrilo. So we need to put a name in there. So you now put new, put your name, okay? Then you need to go to server. This is where you need to put your IP. So if you type IP config in here, run CMD in your run bar, okay? And then type IP config like so. This is the actual IP address that you want, yeah, to put in there. 192, this, whatever your one is at the top, the IP address, so you put that in there. All right, as if you've got that. Leave the root, uh, port as it is, 3784, but you will need to forward that port. Now, this is where you need to put your password, okay? Now, I made mine QWERTY, so it's going to be QWERTY. And then click OK. Now you need to come into your router settings. So you type your router IP in the browser at the top, if you've got a router that is, and you port forward 
your you can see it there I've got name vent ticks in there and there's the TCP and UDP and both got that port number and allow okay and that's it you're good to go save them settings come out of there that's all you got to do and then basically this is the tricky bit for what people get confused with the IP that you have to give people to connect to your server is the IP you go to the web type in there what's my IP like so and it will be inside this one here yet yeah. I'm not going to go in there because it will show you my IP and I don't want you to know my IP so basically you just click on that what's my IP dot org yeah and once you're in there that will give you your IP that's the IP that you give to people right not the one that is in here so you give that to the people and give them a password that you've created for a, for an account don't give them your administration password right okay and that's as simple as that and then when you want to start it up you need to start your server up first like so you come to there start it up it's ready to go and then and there you go that's it you're in and now you can just create new channels do what you like okay channel admin and all sorts of stuff anyway I hope this has been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.